So, I noticed a awful smell coming from the Suburban when I got home. And then I saw this puddle. And at first I thought it was uh, water from the uh, rear AC dripping. I realized it was oil. And then I looked and saw my shock. It decided to let go and leak all of its oil out literally all of it it made a big puddle it sprayed out when it I guess the seal just blew on it and it sprayed its oil out so we need to put shocks on it I had planned on putting shocks on it uh, it's had front shocks put on it they put some cheapies on it they do not ride good they're way too soft um, does not give it enough control so I had planned on putting four shocks on it I'll probably just go ahead and quickly well I was gonna put four shocks on it but I was gonna wait a while and then get them uh, now that I see this we're gonna speed up that process and go ahead and put rear ones on it and then I'll uh, do the fronts later so 175,000 miles they were due to be replaced so I figured I would just video this as I'm um, going over um, what I'm ordering for my um, shock replacement. Now, my Suburban has the, let's see, look, it's got the, um, I'm just kind of going by this. I was reading along on this Tahoe Yukon forum. And mine has the, uh, what they call, what's well, the ZW7 package, which is the um, Nivomat, or is that what they call them? Nivomat, something like that, uh, shocks. And so they're kind of like self leveling shocks. They bear load. Uh, yeah, Nivomat. They bear the load or a partial load of the vehicle. Um, and so if you replace these with standard shocks, um, the springs aren't stiff enough. Uh, it will sag in the rear and you'll have a spongy ride. So everybody's recommending using the Bilstein 199021s. So I took a look at those and Let's see, 199021. Oh, and by the way, the uh, nibble mat replacements are about 300 bucks a piece. So, trying to avoid that. Um, 199021. Yeah. So, the Bilsteins are about $62. That's each. So about $124, $125 for just the springs. Now, I went over to Rock Auto and just looked at replacement springs. So Moog has these two springs. Um, the 81071 and the 81069. Both of these would just be the standard springs, you know, no Nivamat setup, all that. It's just the standard spring that would include, be included in just a Suburban that had normal shocks. So, I was debating, I do tow with my Suburban, so I, I was kind of reading reviews. I found, after I found this, uh, I found that, uh, I, I searched this move part number and then uh, ZW7, and found that people were using these shot, or these springs to replace uh, their springs on a ZW7 equipped Suburban so that they could use conventional shocks. 
They were saying these, which are the heavy duty ones, raise the rear of the Suburban about two inches. So I'm gonna go out there and uh, before I complete this order, I'll measure it, I'll jack it up two inches and see how that looks. But I'm thinking I will buy the regular spring so that, I mean, it still might pick it up some, but it should give it a softer ride. And if you remember on my um, Forerunner, I replaced the rear springs on it with Moog springs and I installed a uh, airlift bags uh, all at the same time. And I had kind of thought about doing the airlift setup on the Suburban. And I'm thinking I might do that. So back over to Amazon, I've got the two springs. See the these are $52.99 for the Moog springs, but they get sold in a pair. So $52.99 for Moog springs versus what would be $125 for the Bilsteins. So I'm I'm gonna go with the Moog springs. And then the um, airlift setup is only $82. So honestly, that's it's not that bad. So and then my two KYB, I'll show y'all which model I'm going with. I like KYB shocks, so went with the KYB 565103. And that's a shock that would go on a uh, non air ride and non. Uh, it's a ZW7 is the uh, self-leveling and uh, I think it's Z55 if I remember right is the uh, air ride so if you had either one of those setups you could replace um, you rep replace that system with these springs and these shocks and I think since I tow I'm gonna include the airlift setup or I'll order the heavy duty springs. I haven't decided yet. But that's kind of what I'm going with. Um, the next clip of this video, I'm sure, will be me installing it. So at that point, I will let you know what decision I made on which ones to get.